Good morning, good morning everyone. We are in Estepona today and here's our second the Norma Frank Holmes office and we're gonna visit them today. Uh, they have a team meeting starting in approximately five minutes. For you who doesn't know us, we're Norma Frank Holmes. We work in Spain, Marbella and Estepona. We work in real estate, in developments and interior. So this is what we do. Let's go check out this office and it's a beautiful location. We're right by the harbor and our office is 50 meters this way. Let's go. catch up just on the ongoing clients and uh, these things that we have. How is the, how do you feel, uh, how is the market now, like with, with other agents and what, how, how is the feeling? No, I think uh, the market is super hot. We see also like new developments are selling really fast. Mm. The good units are selling super fast. We have some off-plan um, developments that are not completely sold out, but the, the blocks that they release for sale are sold out. So mm. now we're just waiting for the new blocks to be released. Yeah. We also see a lot of clients moving from Marbella towards Estepona. I think Estepona has uh, evolved really, really good the last five years. It's, it's uh, a super nice city and it has a lot of plans as well for the infrastructure, etc. And uh, I think you get a lot for the money as well here. Mm. So uh, people are more and more considering Estepona actually. Uh, all right, we have been visiting the Norma Frank uh, Estepona office this morning with the team meeting, had a little bit of breakfast, had a morning coffee and Nico is now taking us to uh, a new development here in uh, the downtown center of Estepona called Infinity where they just landed uh, three new listings that they're gonna take pictures of uh, tomorrow actually. So we're gonna take a look at those. Uh, I've seen this um, development uh, both on online and I've seen it uh, been built during these years but I've never been inside so it's gonna be very interesting to go there and take a look. I heard they had an amazing rooftop terrace with the community pool on top and a lot of good facilities. So looking forward to seeing that and uh, I'll see you all there in a little bit. The communal uh, rooftop terrace with the pool. You have some super nice views from here. So nice. One second. I needed the right filter. Yeah, I like this. I like the uh, the shape of this. How it's like waved. So what is the prices here? Approximately. Well, basically, you're looking at the two two bedrooms apartment. We recently sold one for uh, two hundred eighty thousand euro. That was first level also east facing uh, so i would say that is uh, the lowest uh, price you can get in this uh, building and then we are all the way up to 599 for the uh, for the top floors yeah so between two like 300 up to 600 yeah in this community and i would say this is one of the best buildings to buy as a rental investment as well let's see it so a sum up for four or five hundred thousand euros you get 300 meters from the beach, the beach walk, the old town, groceries, you really don't need a car, a rooftop pool, 360 degrees, sun all day, that's a good deal. Yeah, that's very good, that's very all good. Alright, let's see the apartment. Let's see the apartment. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 36 core. Yeah, we put all three yeah. I can just tell me if we know. 
Är det, är det samma lägenhet eller två olika lägenheter? Det är två olika. I can only say one thing. Welcome to Spain. We just received keys to these two new units. And one of the keys are wrong. We couldn't even get into the apartment. Let's see if the other one is working. This is uh, typical Spain. Probably we got the wrong key from the owner or something. But let's see if we can see the other one. Okay. Right, let's go to Cancelada, to one of uh, our, uh, or actually Nico is in charge of that renovation over there. Yeah. I was there the other day, it's a uh, super nice penthouse, large penthouse with a lot of opportunity, but let's see it once we get there. Yeah. Okay, so we just arrived to Cancelada. We are right now in between Estepona and Marbella. And up here in this urbanization, we have a penthouse that is uh, an investment uh, attached to the Estepona office. So uh, they just did the demolishing, they took down all the walls. Uh, Nico has been working on the floor plan. I was here with him the other day and we came up with some really cool ideas. So we just changed things up a little bit and we want to show you uh, this project and follow us in this journey as well. A lot of noise here. Eh? Basically this was originally a uh, four bedroom uh, apartment, duplex. We are now converting this into a three bedroom with an open plan, a kitchen, dining and living room area. Behind us there was a bedroom before, but if we start from here, I can show you how we see. And as soon as you walk in here, basically you will be uh, looking this way. A wardrobe here and a big, big bathroom with a uh, utility room. And we're gonna have the bedrooms to the left of us here. And then basically what you will find is a huge open uh, area where we're gonna have the living room area, a big dining table over here with its own terrace uh, east facing and on the end it would be like this huge nice kitchen. You know how they looked before, they didn't use any of the feature. I mean this is like I, I would say the, the coolest feature in the whole apartment with the ceiling. Yeah. So this is what you really want to keep center so when you come in your eyes directly goes here, you have a huge kitchen, kitchen island, you have the ceiling. I mean, this, this, this is where you want to have your eyes. This is what comes up in my mind. Yeah, exactly. That was a great idea. <laughs> Ida just brought this up. So basically that's what you, when you're entering from the hallway just behind this phone now, this is what you're going to see behind you. This was the great mood board pictures. Yeah, yeah. Let's add it directly. This is going to be the master bedroom. So we're going to have double size bed facing this way towards the views. We're gonna have behind the bed the, the walk-in closet, so you're gonna go around the bed. We're gonna have uh, wood paneling all the way up, and uh, we're gonna have uh, somewhere there. We really don't know yet how the distribution or the exact design gonna be, but we're gonna have a uh, shower, uh, double sink, and uh, toilets. I mean, the, the coolness is here with the high ceiling and everything, but it's, the space is a little bit challenging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Like you said, because we, because we want to keep this path yeah. and we need to keep the door pretty much here and then, like we last discussed, it's just to keep everything as open as possible. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's going to be a cool monster. I guess it's, it must be like almost five meter ceiling here, four and a half, plus this amazing big terrace that we yeah, have. So yeah, let's walk through the, the terrace and what we're going to create with this uh, big terrace is basically we're going to build in um, plunge pool so that you can sit here in the pool and join the views on this side of the terrace an outdoor shower and we're gonna have on that wall over there uh, we're gonna have a really nice outdoor kitchen so that you can stand actually in the shadow cooking and then you can entertain your guests with a big dining table over there Ida is coming up with some really good ideas here <laughs> we're standing yeah, in the we're standing in the plunge pool right now yeah. and with the pool here a few steps up like Ida just said and keep it maybe a not too big because of the weight as well. Create this, you know, environment where you have a lounge, outdoor living room kind of feeling. I like it. It's a lot of uh, 
penthouse, a lot of square meters for, for the price here. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us to Estepona today. Thank you, Nico, for joining us. We're gonna see more from this renovation and other projects here and also following this office a lot as well and we appreciate you guys watching if you like what you see please follow us give us a comment if you want to see something else and if you have any last words thank you for coming out to estepona and uh, i look forward to to show you the development of this uh, project hasta luego Ciao.